there, I'm Roland Lamb, uh, and I'm really happy to get to show Equator today, which we've just announced, uh, which is the world's first cross-platform multi-dimensional synthesis engine. Um, so this is part of the, C the Seaboard range, right? So this it is, yes. I mean, it actually works as a standalone application, um, but it ships with every Seaboard brand, uh, and it's an engine that was designed to work with the Seaboard and other kinds of multi-dimensional input surfaces and controllers. Um, this is what we're hearing in the background, faintly, the, the sort of that's ambient right. pair. That's right, and uh, we'll show you a little bit more and some other sounds in a moment. I think the important thing is that um, this multi-dimensionality means, you know, that every, uh, polyphonically, you can control multiple parameters per note in real time. And when you have a synth engine that's been designed um, for more of a MIDI keyboard, um, it has a different structure. So it can be hard to then take those uh, engines and use them to design sounds for uh, controllers that allow you to um, actually control more parameters in real time. Um, and so the Seaboard is the, the first one of that kind of engine, this Equator engine, that also allows you to compile cross-platform. So you can design the sounds on a Mac um, and then embed them in the Seaboard ground. Because oh, it's got an inbuilt audio capability engine actually in the hardware, right? That's right. It has, a, it has an engine, Equator runs embedded within the Seaboard. Um, so um, it makes it quite exciting because people can design sounds and share sounds and play with them on the Mac. Um, but then embed them into the hardware. So it means that people can basically personalize and customize the embedded sounds that they play when they just want to play with the Seaboard as an instrument. So are you using um, MIDI as the transportation for all of that touch data, or are you got uh, your own stuff we, going on? We are using MIDI. We're using a particular implementation of MIDI, um, which is uh, good for these kinds of multi-dimensional instruments. Um, uh, but it's still MIDI compatible, and the Seaboard can be used with um, all kinds of other MIDI devices and MIDI engines. So is the idea for this the sort of the idea is a, a flagship instrument that shows other people maybe how to implement that level of control into their own instruments as well, so they will can utilize that extra expressivity. Absolutely, yeah, and I think you know there's been um, some really wonderful uh, instruments in this sort of multi-dimensional category that have been made, um, like the Hack and Continuum um, and Roger Lin's Linstrument um, and uh, the Sound Plane from Madrona Labs, but. Um, one of the difficulties has been the workflows, um, you know, creating easy workflows, because in a lot of cases you'll actually set up like 10 channels of MIDI, um, because you won't, otherwise you won't be able to control multiple parameters per note. So um, that's too difficult from a regular work point, uh, flow point of view, and what's exciting about Equator is it takes us a big step forward um, you know, towards uh, much more natural workflows, where it can just be plug and play in terms of your actual user experience. So are you guys involved in any way in the kind of new definition of MIDI? Because I'm guessing you require quite a lot of extra data capabilities. Are you contributing to that? We're very interested in those conversations. Um, there's uh, MIDI's very, you know, um, common and important protocol that's used all over the world by many, many different bodies in different ways. Um, but we're having a lot of conversations about uh, that protocol. Um, and um, we're you know, pretty confident that there's going to be um, some exciting new developments in the future uh, that will um, help align different people who are in the same multi-dimensional space. Um, and so in that sense, yes, Equator is like a flagship product um, that's a great demonstrator of the possibilities. Um, so uh, our sound designer, Raphael, can tell a little bit more of how that actually plays out in practice in the UX and sound design of Equator. expression going on in the software. So tell us a bit, a bit about the engine. What's the kind of basic uh, functionality? Right, well this is um, Equator, uh, our multi-dimensional synthesizer which is specifically designed for the Seaboard. And it's basically um, a subtractive synthesizer with uh, three um, four algorithm FM, sample playback with two sample modules, yep. and very elaborate and easy to use um, modulation system. We try to make it very easy to use, um, intuitive, so that you don't spend time looking through lists like in the modulation matrix, you select the source, destination, you always scroll for lists. Here the idea is to select the source, straight go to a parameter, modulate it and be done with it. So it's about speed, intuition and good results. So, um, subtractive, 
three oscillator and FM and sample. So you're, you're encompassing a lot of different uh, synthesis methods there. What about sort of filtering and that sort of thing? Oh, we've got a nice selection of filters, you know, low pass, high pass, band pass, and a nice uh, comp filter. So if I select the, um, the filter here, you can scroll for different types uh, and select what you desire. Then um, we actually can configure them in different, uh, in different routings. So if you go to the mix and routings, uh, and here we can select uh, serial parallel, mix sound. So you've got a lot of um, potential for, for layering, especially with the mixer allowing you to uh, send each sound source to different outputs, whether to oscillators, effects, dry output, and you can have each one uh, in different amounts. So you can build up a very complex patch. So, um your, this, this, is this a standalone version or is it going to be plug-in or what's the deal? Well, it's standalone VST AU plug-in format uh, and it's also a controller so basically you can design a sound uh, on the standalone and send the sounds to the Seaboard which has all the DSP built in so you basically can set, create your own set, uh, send it to the Seaboard, disconnect it from the computer and take it to your gig. So is that available in all mo models or is it just the grand? Or all models. They've all got the DSP. Absolutely, yes. And what about audio outputs on those? Yeah, you've got two stereo outputs, uh, headphone output, volume control, and um, three uh, pedal outputs, which are fully configurable. So you can, all the CC messages are available. Uh, you have, um, uh, you can select different uh, types of switches, continuous, and etc. So we have given you all the options. So maybe we can listen to a few sounds now, that'll be really good. Absolutely. If somebody really likes the sound of this and just wants to use it without the Seaboard, is it that also possible for them? Absolutely, that's the idea. I mean, we want to have this available for every musician, live, in your bedroom, away from the computer. And the idea is to be able to switch it on, select the sound and just play. We want you to play rather than tweak knobs and you know, faders. It's about interaction with your fingers, having as much power under your fingertips rather than traditionally, if you play a synthesizer with your right hand, you have to lift your left hand to control modulation wheels faders, knobs, here it's under your fingertips, available all the time. So uh, we have some more sounds here as well. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, this is a nice kind of uh, a reed type, which is good for, well, uh, different uh, kind of uh, ethnic uh, styles. I mean, Absolutely. So what's the DSP footprint like for people who perhaps aren't you know, using the Rolly? I mean, what, 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 how does that run? It's actually quite, quite lean on, on, a, on a Mac. Um, there's no problems whatsoever to run it on a standalone on, or VST or AU. Uh, it's highly optimized. Um, and despite being very complex, you have a lot of envelopes, a lot of uh, real-time modulation. Uh, it's actually quite lean. Yeah, so basically, if you look at the envelopes, uh, we have, um, first of all, you can, you can work with a graphic envelope or um, a traditional knob. Uh, you can select four different modes, one of which is a loop mode. And interestingly, the loop, in the loop mode, you can actually loop the envelope and go into audio rate. So if you, if you, if you take the uh, decay um, um, stage, you can actually uh, create some FM with the actual envelope, um, which creates some nice kind of buzzing sounds. Um, and then if you look at uh, FM, if you switch FM on, we can select from four different algorithms and then the three oscillators here uh, become your operators. 
Uh, obviously, you can select um, uh, sine wave uh, for the traditional approach to FM. However, you can actually use the wave tables built into each oscillator as well. So, you know, you can create a lot of very, you know, interesting sounds very quickly. Um, and in addition, you can actually, for traditional FM, perhaps you'd mute uh, some of the oscillators, but you can actually do FM and then route the same oscillators to other outputs. So you can have FM happening on the oscillators, plus you can output the wavetable away from FM, so you can build nice layers. So have multiple part routing parts. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the, the mix actually is quite, quite interesting because we wanted to offer a lot of flexibility in that, in that you can build nice deep textures. So it's not just three oscillators, some filters, but oscillators which can really be stacked up and sent to effects, FM, dry output, uh, different filter configurations, and that's on top of the um, sample modules. So uh, all those parameters, are mixed pra is everything assignable to control? Can Absolutely, and, and the beauty is that when you assign stuff, for example, if you take uh, pressure, so pressure is here, I click on the source, and then I just go to anything I, I desire, so you can quickly you know, create, um, there you go, so this is my modulation. And the, the main crucial aspect of this uh, modulation is that we can scale these parameters. Um, and that's really important for the Seaboard because we have continuous touch as opposed to after touch. The second you touch the key wave, you continuously modulate the, the parameters. So sometimes you want to kind of delay that modulation. And this is where the transfer functions come in. So you can basically delay that modulation and, and scale it to, according to your playing style. So it's very much designed to kind of make the most of... Absolutely. Right. It's basically designed for this playing surface, although you can use it as a normal you know, synth and make traditional synthesizer sounds, analog sounds, but it's really designed to allow you to fine-tune each sound so it plays according to your technique. Uh, the, uh, the, the sample panel, are you able to put your own samples in there? At the you? moment, you, you, you can't, but um, perhaps in the future. Um, so. Yes, uh, we've got a, a nice selection of samples in there at the moment, so just to give you a quick start. Are they uh, one shots or are they multi samples? Uh, they're multi samples. Ah. Yeah, the multi samples, so like with the bass, we have each key sampled. Basically, each key is sampled, so you have nice artifacts happening. Each key is different, so that brings another layer of, of um, interesting you know, uh, potential and sonics. So, um, and this is, is this available now? You buy it, set, you buy it. No, with... it's, it's part of the seal. Each seaboard receives data and a bundle of other, other packages. So you've got uh, different utilities which allow you to control the actual um, multi channel design of the seaboard. Uh, so you can control how the signal is routed to your computer. And you have other utilities which allow you to. Um, uh, work with different plugins, um, uh, making their workflow much easier than it would have been otherwise. And so, uh, but they can buy it, it can be bought separately as well, is that viable? Uh, right now, all the software is bundled with, with, uh, with the Seaboard. Uh, however, actually, you can actually use Equator with anything, it's just a plugin. So, you know, you can disconnect the Seaboard or perhaps use something else. So, with the, the, the DSP on board, the Seaboard, I mean, obviously, this is one one instrument you can use the DESP. I mean, are there plans perhaps to think about squirting other stuff in there so that you can have different instruments, different software? Systems? Well, uh, you know, anything is possible and we've just started, so uh, this is just the beginning and we have grand ideas and the vision is is there, so. And what about like, people who want to start? Because obviously the Seaboard Grand is probably a little uh, unaffordable to some play people. Um, right. where, can, where can people start on the range? There's a smaller... Yes, we have basic, well, basically, this is the uh, five octave um, version. Uh, we're called uh, the stage, Seaboard Grand Stage. And then we have the, um, the three octave, uh, the studio, um, and that's uh, more affordable. Uh, but yes, we, we do actually um, think about, we want to make this technology available to all, you know, because we believe it's, it's revolutionary. So we want everyone to have a copy, you know, and enjoy the expression. Great, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure, thank you. Thank you.